Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, I hope you are all doing well. In this video, I will show you how I made this 3D model, from an image, in Autodesk Maya. So let's get started. So first, we need an image like this, which we will trace out the outline from Adobe Illustrator. So I have this image which I have downloaded from the internet, and imported it on Adobe Illustrator. Now, select this image and then go to Image Trace Option box. From here, select black and white logo. It will make the outline of the image sharp enough so that Illustrator can read it well. If I zoom in and see here, the outlines are not sharp enough. So select this image and go to Image Trace Option box, then select black and white logo. If I zoom in, you can see the outlines of this image are sharp now. Now again select this image and then click on Expand. It will automatically trace out the image and make vector curves out of the image. After that, go to File and click on Save As. Choose your destination where you want to save the file. Rename it as per your choice and then click on save. And now from here, we need to change the version to Illustrator 8. And then click on OK. After that, let's jump to Autodesk Maya, and see how to make 3D model out of this image. So here we are in Maya. Go to File and select Import. Change the file types to Adobe Illustrator. Select the Illustrator file that you have saved, and then click on Import. And here you can see the curves created from Illustrator out of the image. And now we can use these curves to make 3D model out of them. Now select one of this curve, then go to Surfaces, and select Bevel Plus Option Box. From here you can play with the settings and see how all these options work. I will keep the default settings and apply. But before applying I just wanted to show you something. First, drag and select all these curves, and click on Center Pivot. And now, if you select one of the curve and move it forward, you can see there are two curves created for each of the pieces of the image trace. So to keep this simple, I will select one of the curves from each piece, and then delete them. Now select one curve and then apply Beveled Plus on it. And you can see a 3D object is created out of the curve. For this particular model I will separate the white parts and the black parts from the image. So I will select all these white pieces and add them in a layer. Then drag and select all these parts and add them in another layer. Now select these curves one by one and then apply beveled plus on each of the pieces separately. Press G key on your keyboard to repeat the last command. As you can see, some of the objects are forward and some of them are backwards. This is because we had two curves for each piece, and we deleted one set of curves earlier. So from those curves we might have deleted some of the opposite curves. So to fix this, drag and select all the objects, then hold shift, right click and select combine. Then go to face mode, and select the front faces of all these pieces by holding shift key on your keyboard. After that, hold shift key, right click and select extract faces. Now then, go to object mode, select the outside mesh, and then delete them. After that, select all these, then from top view, go to face mode, select all the faces, and scale them to align properly. Now then, select these meshes, and press Ctrl D to duplicate them, and move them ahead. Then select these meshes, and combine them. After that, hold Shift, right click, and then extrude. Extrude out the faces quite a bit like this. Then go to object mode, and then place this mesh in between the base mesh. Now then, select the base mesh, shift select the other mesh, then hold shift, right click, go to booleans and select difference. And then, it will cut out the base like this. Now I will keep these meshes in a layer, and hide them. 
Then turn on the visibility of the other curve layer. And now I will create the rest of the pieces in the same way. If you are liking this tutorial video, please give this video a thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this. After creating the model, I have assigned AI standard materials to these objects, and played with some settings. And here at the bottom what I did is duplicated the bottom faces and assigned mesh light to it. Let me show you. Go to face mode, and select all these bottom faces. Now I am selecting few of them just for an example. Then hold shift, right click, and select duplicate face. Now go to object mode, select the mesh just now created, and place it down somewhere like this. And then go to Arnold, and from here select lights, then mesh light. And now from attribute editor you can play with the intensity and color of the light to make the object glow as per your choice. In my case I have kept blue color, and played with the settings as per my choice. I have set a camera from the top angle. And now if I click on render view, it will look something like this. You can also give multiple colors on your mesh light and blend them together. Let me show you an example. For this mesh light, I have used a ramp on the color of the light, so that the yellow and orange color blend together and gives kind of fiery look on it. If I click on render now, it will give a result like this. So how did I do that? Let me show you. I will show you what I did in this blue light. Select this mesh light, and then click on the color checker box from attribute editor. And from here, search for ramp, then click on ramp. And now from the attribute editor, you can play with the color and blend any color as per your choice. After that, from rendering settings, select the renderable camera from here. Set your image size from here. Then close this one and then hit render. So guys, I hope you like this tutorial. Subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications first whenever there is any new video in my channel. Feel free to ask me anything regarding this video in the comments section. Stay safe, and I will see you on the next video.